body dysmorphia. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's Allie. I'm on a fantastic weight loss journey. Hopefully you'll come along for the ride. So as you guys know, and I've said before, I, I like to be very real with you and I don't see many people talk about this or this aspect of losing weight. So I want to talk about it, um, both to potentially help other people, but also to help myself because I'm currently having a rough day and I'm going to try to keep it together. I have a party that I'm going to be going to in a couple of weeks and I wanted to wear something cute. Um, I have not seen these friends in a very long time and I've lost 62 pounds at this point and I would like to wear something cute and all of my clothes are too big. Um, for those of you who don't know, I work from home and so I'm trying very hard to not purchase a lot of clothing as I transition because um, I don't I don't want to spend the money. I want to save that money to be able to get a whole new wardrobe um, once I hit my goal weight. So I just get like pieces along the way. I hope that makes sense. So today I went to Goodwill in hopes of being able to find a pair of jeans. Unfortunately, I went to the Goodwill that is local to me and they don't allow you to try things on, which is just stupid. I was kind of flying in the dark. Long story short on that, um, I got two pairs of jeans that were like super stretchy, elasticy, very cute, that were labeled in the size that I was the last time that I went clothing shopping, um, which at that time was a 14. And I got them home and they didn't fit. So I was very disappointed about that. But that part was okay because they did fit my wife and it turns out that I didn't realize because I'm, I'm not familiar with straight size brands, I guess you would say, um, that these were actually juniors, which is not the same as plus sizing or regular size. It's neither here nor there. They didn't fit me. They did fit my wife. She loved them. She looked great in them. I, I'm very excited. And I know that I will fit into them one day. So that was kind of like the first mishap of the day. Then I decided um, I got a shirt off of eBay and I was so excited because it's the first time that I've ordered um, a t-shirt in an extra large. Um, and just for reference, I used to be a 4X. So this was just straight size, extra large. It showed up, it fit, and I got really excited. So the other pants didn't fit, so I was trying on some stuff that I have in the closet, and I don't own a full length mirror. And I know that other overweight people will probably relate to this. I didn't wanna ever look at myself. So what I do is I just get my wife to take a picture of me in whatever outfit I'm in and then I can see what I look like in it. So I wanted to wear a blazer over the t-shirt. The only blazer that I have was back from when I was 62 pounds heavier. So it's huge on me. So I can't do that. And I was hoping that maybe I could, you know, sew it, make it smaller. And then I was wearing these pants and I should be happier 
because they're significantly smaller size than I've been wearing. Um, they're like jeggings, so they're an extra large. Mind you, I was like a size 26, 28 when I, you know, when I started this weight loss journey. I'm telling you all of this so that you have a reference point. So I've got this extra large shirt, these extra large tight fitting jeggings, and I'm thinking that I look a certain way in my mind and then I look at the picture and I'm just so disappointed. And I think that we get in our heads sometimes where, you know, we're constantly looking at these before and after pictures where people have lost, you know, 100 pounds, 130 pounds, right? And there's a huge difference there. And I see people post in the support groups all the time, hey, you know, when am I going to start to see it? When am I going to see the difference? And people would say, oh, you know, at, I didn't see it until I lost 30 pounds or 40 pounds or 50 pounds or 60 pounds. And I objectively in my brain know I've done a lot of work to get to this point. And I I am super grateful for this medication to help me. I am super grateful for all of the weight that I've lost. But in that moment when I'm looking at the picture and it's not what I envisioned in my mind, I'm still bigger than I want to be. It made me sad. And I don't think there's enough people who talk about feeling like this. I'm not trying to rush anything. I know that I have to be patient and it takes time, right? Like we can all be you know, objectively, you know, logic it out in our heads. Like I get it. But at the same time, we have to deal with these emotions. And for the first time in my life, I am dealing with these emotions without the crutch of food. Because before, when I would get sad, I would just order fast food and eat a ridiculous amount and, and then I would be happy for a little while. I don't have that crutch anymore. I just went and ate a slice of turkey meat. <laughs> you know, like... In my mind, in my mind, I can remember in high school when I was thinner, I was athletic, I was fit, I could do the things that I wanted to do without, you know, back pain and you know, knee pain and all the other shit that just comes with being overweight. And I, and I want so desperately to get there. And I know that I will. I, I know I will. But this in-between part is hard. It's really hard. And there's nobody to talk to. There's nobody to vent to. Because see, I tell my wife, I'm like... I'm sad, I'm crying. She's like, I don't understand why you're upset. So I explained it to her because she's a thin person. And she's like, but you've, you've come so far. You've lost 62 pounds. And I'm like, I know, I know that in my mind. when I look in the mirror, when I look at pictures, I feel like I look the same. And I've been taking pictures all throughout my journey because I know that I'll want them in the end. And I'll even put, I'll put a picture up here for you. 
Because I, I know that because of the body dysmorphia, I don't see it. I still feel like I look like that bigger version of me. But logically, I know that I'm not. It's, it's like an absolute disconnect in your mind. And it's hard to deal with. It's hard because old me, heavier me, would have gotten upset, not had anything to wear, and would just not go. And I'm not allowing myself to do that anymore. I'm not allowing myself to go and be social and to go to functions and I'm not doing it anymore. But the work that you have to put in to get to the point where you're okay with that, it's hard. And it's even harder when you don't have your crutch that you used for, you know, most of your life. Like, what do I do with all of these emotions that I'm feeling? So, I just wanted to make this video. I know it's not my usual, you know, happy-go-lucky or very informative style. I wanted to make this video because I know that there's somebody else out there that's feeling exactly like I'm feeling right now. And I just want to tell you that it's okay. It's okay. It's going to be okay. And that we can get through this. And one day, we're going to reach that goal weight. And we're going to be able to do the things that we want to do. And we're going to feel better. And it's going to be great. And I just have to remind myself to be patient and do the work. And this is part of doing the work. Feeling the feelings and not eating the feelings which is what I used to do. But man, it sucks. You know, don't don't let anybody tell you that it's not hard. Because it is. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you haven't already, subscribe. Go check out my other videos where I'm happy. <laughs> Everybody has a bad day. And I just want you to know that you're not alone. I'm not alone. And we are going to get through this. If you're looking for a positive support group, check out the link in the description box below. It's a positive only group. I'd love to have you there. And as always, be kind, rewind.